In Casey's cosmology, all souls were made in the image of the Creator and are gods in the making. Not the God, but gods in the making. The Bible expresses a similar perspective on our position as children of God. It is our will, the ability to make choices and act responsibly, or not, that provides the avenue for companionship and expression with the divine. In a word, we are co-creators, godlings in a universe created specifically for our soul development and maturation. We have a long ways to go as we make our way through eternity, individually and collectively finding our way back to the source. Along the way of the soul's journey, we have contributed significantly to the creation and evolution of life on this planet and other realms in the cosmos. Currently, we are at a key juncture in our collective co-creative process. Another spike in the long series of evolutionary adjustments called punctuated equilibrium. Remember that the process of punctuated equilibrium is characterized by long periods of gradual evolution with small microevolutionary changes that are interrupted by sudden mass extinctions, followed by the widespread appearance of numerous entirely new species, which scientists call macroevolution. For the past several thousand years, humans have been practicing microevolution by creating new strains of domesticated animals that are adapted for our use and pleasure. Leading scientists tell us that global warming created by humans is causing mass extinctions to rival those of preceding eras of punctuated equilibrium. Genetic science is providing us with the technology to consciously create new species to adapt to our changing environment. Does this all sound familiar? Regardless of whether you find Casey's concept of co-creation convincing or not, clearly we are now co-creators in the evolutionary process of this planet. If Casey's cosmology is valid, we played out this same basic co-creative scenario in the lost land of Atlantis. Although the long-term prognosis for the soul's journey is positive, in the short or mid-term, we could still make a pretty big mess of things based on what Casey's cosmology asserts about our co-creative history on Earth. The Casey readings suggest that we are at an important evolutionary juncture associated with the transition to a new root race. His readings predict the possibility of cataclysmic Earth changes resulting in mass extinctions. The souls incarnated in human bodies during this era can have a significant influence on this evolutionary process. If we are truly gods in the making, what kinds of gods are we becoming in this cycle of planetary evolution?